Welcome back alongside Sam Monson. I'm Mike Renner. Today we're breaking down the race for the number one overall pick. Could be Nick Bosa, could be Justin Herbert. We don't know at this point. It depends on what, who ends up getting it, who they're going to need. But a lot of teams in the mix at the moment. We have five teams with one win at the, right now. Colts, Raiders, Giants, Cardinals, 49ers. A lot of bad teams around the NFL. Sam, who do you think is going to be the number one overall pick when it's all said and done. Coming out of this first Wembley-London game, there is no worse team in football right now than the Oakland Raiders. They were absolutely destroyed by the Seattle Seahawks. The rumors are that pretty much everybody of any kind of consequential talent on that team is on the trade block. Amari Cooper could be gone. They're benching previous number one picks, Gary and Conley, sitting guys down for Darrell Worley. That team is starting over. They are in full-on rebuilding mode and they're in trouble. And I feel like to some degree he's lost the locker room there already in terms of you can't be benching for solar picks. You can't be having these trade rumors for your best wide receiver and expect guys to be going out week in and week out and giving their best. So I do think they are very much in the mix. But at the same time, you have a quarterback who, while not amazing, not a great quarterback in Derek Carr, can still win you some games, can still go out and get a 300-yard day on any given Sunday. There are some teams, though, in that mix that do not have that quarterback at the moment. The two I'm looking at, 49ers, or excuse me, the Arizona Cardinals with Josh Rosen. He's been incredibly inconsistent over this first you know, few games of his career. And the Buffalo Bills, even though they, don't have, they already have two wins, their offense with Josh Allen, 76 points through six games. They are lowest graded offense in the NFL here so far. They just don't look good offensively. They're just not going to be able to put up points against really anyone. Yeah, they, their offense is definitely a concern. But I think that defense is good enough to keep them away mm -hmm. from the number one overall pick. That It's going to keep them in games. And sooner or later, Josh Allen's going to have one of those games where he strings together a few big-time plays. <laughs> against the Vikings. You know, the defense yeah. set them up in position, and Josh Allen was good enough not to throw it away, to it in, not to lose it, the yeah. game for them. That's all he's going to have to do at least once or twice this season when the defense puts him in a good situation. Mm -hmm. The Cardinals, I'm a little less, I don't have as much defense for. I think they could be definitely in the mix. The one thing I would say, though, about Derek Carr is he is putting up some worrying numbers if you're a Raiders yes. fan. Even though some of the box score stats, completion percentage, yards per attempt look good, he completed or he attempted more passes at or behind the line of scrimmage this past week in Wembley than he did beyond it. He has averaged at the target on throws from a clean pocket when he wasn't being pressured, was two and a half yards downfield. That's disastrous. That's yeah. not going to win you games. Yeah, they only have 51 pressures as a season so far. The, on the season so far, the Oakland Raiders, 13 teams have twice as many pressures as yeah. that. They just have no pass rush without Khalil Mack. Derek Carr is playing pretty poorly. So hard to argue with them. I'm going to go Cardinals. You'll go Raiders. That's who we think, though, is going to be the number one overall pick come next April.